Well, this actually came as a surprise. Not so long ago, I decided to sit down and watch Tomb Raider for the first time, the one from 2018. And I also heard when it came out that it wasn't a big hit, but it wasn't exactly a financial bomb. However, the studio have decided they're going to make a sequel, and it is happening, but with a new director. Let's get into it. So like I said, this movie didn't bomb. But it wasn't like a huge success. It was like a, a lukewarm movie, a, a lukewarm receptive type of film. Like the, the critics and the audiences were not like a huge fan of this film. I personally recently saw this film now out of all times. I mean, you know, I could have watched it last year, but I didn't. And uh, I ended up watching it now. And I got to say, I really enjoyed it. I really liked this movie. Not, not like in the way of like... Oh, nostalgia, like the older Tomb Raider movies with Angelina Jolie. No, I mean, like, this was actually not bad. I I thought it was charming. I thought it was good. I thought it was entertaining to watch. But it did it have problems? Absolutely. Was it a great movie? Of course not. There were some cliches in there, obviously. I think the third act was just a cliche-heavy movie in and of itself. But if you're a fan of the rebooted universe of Tomb Raider... I think you're really going to enjoy this movie. And if you have not played those games, I think this is a very nice change of pace for being a remake. Because not only is this a remake of Angelina Jolie Tomb Raider, but this is basically the adaption of the new games type of Tomb Raider. I remember when this movie was uh, in development and the original plan for the first movie was supposed to be somehow of a sequel to the game that came out like in 2013 with the you know no longer the triangle tits tomb raider and all that kind of stuff like this was supposed to be canon but it wouldn't be a remake of the first game this would have actually been a continuation so like after the first two games this movie would have happened and then it would lead into shadow of the tomb raider which of course i'm playing right now but that did not end up happening and it had just ended up being a remake of the first game which uh, I don't know. I, I didn't need that to happen. Obviously, it wasn't going to be as good as the first game because the first game is great. But enough about that. I did not expect a sequel to happen. Like, after I saw the movie, I was like, oh, they're building up for a sequel. Like, they're building up for more adventures with Tomb Raider. And the way they did it, not a huge fan of it, but they did it. And I was like, okay, well, they're never going to get that sequel because video game adaptions usually don't do, so, do that well. However, we ended up getting a sequel now. And I thought this was cancelled. I was so certain this movie would not get a sequel. If any sequel was planned, it would be cancelled. Luckily for any fans out there, if there are any, the sequel is coming in 2021. So mark your calendars for March 19th, 2021. The movie is happening. But it's happening with a different director because I think the first director wasn't a huge fan of how the outcome of the movie was, even though I personally enjoyed it again. Uh, but then we ended up getting a new director named Ben Wheatley. Never heard of him, and uh, I, I haven't really seen any of his work, but he's done some indie movies like Kill List, High Rise, and Free Fire. Never heard of any of these movies, and he did helm a few episodes of Doctor Who. Again, I don't watch Doctor Who, so if there's anybody who's a huge fan of Doctor Who and somehow know all the directors, then... Oh my god, it's got to be a ton of them, right? Vikander is also coming back as Lara Croft, so no recasting. They're going to continue the story. No details on the story so far. The only official thing we know is that the movie is happening with a different director than the first director. And that is pretty much it. And the cast is, of course, coming back again of those who made it out. So yeah, there you go. Uh, for anybody who is excited, yay! For me... I wouldn't say I'm excited, but, you know, I'll be there. I'll be there watching it because I actually enjoy the first one. Maybe this is going to be an adaption of the second game. Maybe the title is going to be exactly as the second game. Like, they're making movie versions of those games before any YouTuber can sit there and edit, like, a, a cutscene movie out of them. Like, it's not exactly the same. It's not that similar to the games because the games are a lot more R-rated, in my opinion, while this one is more... PG, hard PG, because there are some elements in there that could easily be R-rated, but I don't think that's necessarily necessary. But, you know, I don't think there's going to do an R rating for Tomb Raider 2 here as well. Now, one thing I was going to say was that video game adaptions don't usually do that well, either critically, financially, or both. This one wasn't a huge success, but obviously it did good enough for the studio to go, yeah, let's do another one. But at the same time, it was very lukewarm from people. So if it's Luke, if the first movie was lukewarm, 
you don't think the second one is going to get the same reception? And not only that, but the movie made like over $200 million at the box office. That's not exactly a bomb with the $90 million at the, with the budget, but at the same time, it's not a huge success, as I said. However, if that's the box office worldwide they ended up with with the first movie, the box office may be lower in the second one, unless they're going to go with a completely different tone for the film, then, you know, and you market it in a much better way, because the trailers for the first movie were not all that good, in my opinion. So I think they should do a better way with the marketing this time. Uh, and uh, we'll see if it uh, ends up being any good this time for a lot of people. And it ended up being good for me, the first one, but, you know, we'll see if the second one is any good. I did like Alicia Vikander as uh, Lara Croft, although I was very disappointed that Daisy Ridley was not going to play the role. I was very disappointed over that, but you know what? Seeing the movie, she works as Lara Croft, at least this version as Lara Croft. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Are you excited for Tomb Raider 2 coming out now in a couple of years from now? Are you excited for Alicia Vikander coming back as Lara Croft? What did you think of the first movie, by the way? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Did you think it was okay? Wow, I haven't said that line in a very long time, huh? Uh, what did you guys think of Alicia Vikander as Lara Croft? Did you do a good job do you prefer the the uh, angeline jolie movies over this one let me know anything you want in the comment section down below do not forget to subscribe to the channel for brand new videos just like these and don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and that's pretty much it